What's up, my art streets of chaos? This is your king of the night. This is none other than your king of the night, 57. And I'm here to tech, uh, school you, knowledge you, you know, teach you, learn you, whatever you want to call it. And this is another lesson. Could it be possible to fit in everywhere? Could it possibly be a possibility to fit in everywhere? And I'm going to be honest, no. The reason why that is, whatever your culture or the people you surround yourself with all your life is the only people, the type of people, the caliber of people that's going to end up being attracted to your energy. Meaning that you're not going to be able to go to a nightclub full of chads if you're not a chad yourself. You see where I'm getting at right here? You see where I'm getting at? It wouldn't make sense. It's like trying to make light and darkness go together. They're two opposite things. Water and fire. Apples and oranges. It don't work. Now, in my high school, we were diverse and we let everybody sit everywhere, even in the athletic table. But the real world is much different. And the real world... The real world's harsher and crueler. The stuff you see on Twitch, the stuff you see on Twitter, you know, that's, you know, with, with toxicity and everything is ten times worse than you see on Twitch. Ten times worse than you see on Twitter. Because you know why? People are actually mean. People are actually mean-spirited. We live in a world with too many assholes nowadays. So, when you try to walk into a club, you pay your money, but it's the type of club that has EDM music and your, uh, and, and you're a club full of, like, uh, pretty much, you know, the rich kids that wore all the polo and Hollister. They're gonna look at you strange, even before you dance, even before you make a move. Yeah, some are going to be polite because if they feel like they have to be polite because everybody feels like they have to be polite. But they, but they are going to secretly talk shit about you. They're going to roast you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to, you know, because you don't belong in that scene. Especially if you're walking in there, you know, not being like them. What I'm trying to say is, yes, you can fit in in places. But you can't fit in in every situation. You could be outgoing as much as you want. But you will all. The, there's always going to be one situation or one group that you're in where you're the oddball out. You're the ugly duckling. You're strange to them. You know? It's like taking X Men mutants. And trying to put them in categories with the human beings. It won't work no matter how hard you try you know the reason I use that as an example that's exactly what it's like you can fit in but if you're a nerd you're gonna always be with the nerds you're gonna always integrate with nerds if you are a Chad or a rich kid with you know ri you know the typical rich kid that has the nice cars and uh, polos and Hollister then that's the group you belong if you're a goth you're going to be in the goth group. The point I'm trying to say is. Yes you could try to get in a scene. Yes you could try to understand a scene by going to any of these clubs. With the, the that exact scene to see what it's about. As much as you want. But just know that there's going to be a few judgments in those establishments towards you. Because you're different. Now, it could go two ways. You could be treated the bell of the ball and be celebrated for the fact that you are different and unique. Or, you could be hated and treated horribly. People roast you to your face. You know, people look at you strange. The girls look at you and ah, this, this ah, face to you. you. You know, in that scene, you could. As I said, it could go two ways. But you're, you're going to always fit into at least two subcategory groups. And that's just how human evolution is. You know, you don't ever see a lion, you know, living with rhinos or anything else. 
I mean, maybe in a zoo, but I'm talking about in the wild. You see a pack of lions together. You see a pack of wolves together. You see a pack of this, you, you know, this and that. Everyone belongs to a special clan. I know you're going to say, oh, you're, pull you weeb, you're pulling out Naruto in this. But Naruto does kind of make sense to a degree when it comes to clans. Because clans have spe clans have certain features not everybody else has. And that's why they mostly belong together. Like the Uchiha clan has the Sharingan. Nobody else has a Sharingan unless they gave the Sharingan to somebody else. Or they steal Sharingans. But nonetheless, you, you, you get the point. There's only certain characteristics of your group. Or should I say your clan. You know, your cl pretty much what I'm saying is that there's always going to be some kind of impression there's going to always be some kind of misunderstanding because we're not in the we're still not in the, we're still have a lot of work to do in this country we still have a lot of work to do in this country but we live in a world where um where people are still having a hard time to be accepting of others we still have a hard time being open with every you know everyone we're, we're still have a hard time doing that because this country still needs work. You know, racism still exists, unfortunately, as it is. You know, and it makes it harder for minorities to fit into, you know, neighborhoods with uh, mostly, you know, white people. You know, because we still have some ignorant ass people that think that. They don't belong there. We still got ignorant ass people that think that, you know, everything's, you know, everything's wrong with them when there really isn't. The point I'm trying to get at is you could fit in in only a few places, and that's the people that you connect with. It's also energy based, too. If your energy attracts another type of person, they'll end up being your friend, you know, girl, they might be your girlfriend. If you're gay, you might get guys, but even or even just just friendship basis, your energy is gonna attract people with the same energy as you. If you act a certain way, dress a certain way, you know, do activity in certain activities, you know, you know, such as pastimes and hobbies, you're gonna attract people that are in that hobbies or people that have the same energy as you. Your energy and your chakras attract that of the same. Because it's like the equal sign. You know, 1 plus 1 equals 2. What that, what that means is that it equals 2 people of the same energy. And then more will come. But the point is, your energy will only attract those who have the same exact energy. If you're a troll and you use Reddit a lot and you're edgelord and you say the N-word a lot, you're going to attract more neck-bearded people that are edgelords. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. You're going to attract more of them because they like your energy. Energy is the basis on life and principles. You know, that's how it is. You know, even in the places where it's where they where they try to be more equal such as churches and schools there is no true equality in those places either because in order to fit in with those people to be able to hang out with those people after you know the church meeting or after school you have to have the same energy you don't have to have the same interest but you got your energy's got a vibe if it does not vibe with that person that person's not going to see you the same way you see them if I'm making any sense, I'm just telling you, energy attracts energy. You will only fit in a few places based off your your characteristics, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you dress, the hobbies you are into, the lifestyle you choose. You know, probably the same taste in furniture, cars, women etc or taste in whatever it is PC gaming console gaming no gaming mobile gaming you're gonna attract those kind of people those kind of people will be the people you hang out with 
So really, you don't really need to become the most popular person and outgoing if you don't need to. It's good to be outgoing for business purposes. <laughs> like for business purposes, it's good to be outgoing. If you're trying to look look to increase your business, then you have to be outgoing. But if you're trying to be a regular guy and live a normal life, then it's not really necessary. Only in circ only circumstantial, but nonetheless, your energy is only gonna attract those with the same energy. So fitting in will only you're only gonna be fitting in through the three categories. You know, look, hobbies, or the way or the, the way of the lifestyle, and sometimes it can even be tasting cars, furniture, etc. But energy will be the main factor because energy is everything of your personality. You project the energy in your in, in your chakra. You know the way you fluctuate your voice. The way you, you, you know, the how you walk, how you talk, how you, you know, do things. Your confidence or no confidence, either way, it's all energy based. So may the crystal be with you. I'm glad they answered this question.